true. Hey guys, it's Ireland Reed, and we are here for Reed's Rabbit Report on WonderCon. Now, WonderCon has came and gone, and it's taken me quite some time to compile this list for you guys over tips and tricks when traveling to out here in California, in Southern California for WonderCon, because this year was anything but normal for these guys. So, WonderCon, for the first of all, was held in Los Angeles this year, which is completely abnormal. Because I mean, that's not where it's supposed to be. So, it was a little difficult and a little tricky to put this list for you guys. But I hope that you guys will approve. So, WonderCon is usually held in Anaheim, California. So, if you guys have ever seen BlizzCon or any of that, it's held at the Anah Anaheim Convention Center, which is located by Disneyland. Hello, you know where this is going. So, it's super cool. It's usually on Easter, but they have advertised this year that next year it won't be on Easter, but it'll be kind of around Easter. So I would say around the Easter time frame is based to say that they will be doing WonderCon, okay? Um, again, normally it's held in Anaheim, California. So sunny, sunny SoCal in Anaheim, California. So <clears throat> you guys have tons of hotels within walking districts to the Anaheim Convention Center. Now please keep in mind that it is by Disneyland so, hotels do fill up fast. Even though you can walk within distance to the Anaheim Convention Center, hotels will fill up because it's usually starting spring break and tourism season for Disneyland. So, please keep in mind that Star Wars portion of Disneyland will be opening, so hotels might be a little bit harder to come by. So, Keep that in mind when considering about booking tickets for WonderCon next year about the hotel situation. So you guys might actually have to book a little distance from the Anaheim Convention Center if you don't get there on time. So it's that one's going to be tricky, guys. It really is. So with that being said, um, there's shuttle service. So some hotels do provide a shuttle service to the Anaheim Convention Center. Um, Double Trees, which is a branch of Hilton's, that sort of thing. So they might have something going for that route for you guys. If not, there's always Uber. Because Uber's freaking amazing, and there's tons of Ubers available in Southern California. Especially in Anaheim with Disneyland. So you guys should be good to go. That is awesome. Now, many of you are asking, why would I go to WonderCon if there's San Diego Comic Con, which is in July? So... Many of you have experienced the brutal, brutal pain and agony of sitting in the queues on multiple computers trying to get tickets for San Diego Comic-Con. It's pretty rare to actually get those tickets. So, this is a great alternative for you guys. WonderCon is a great alternative if you want to take your kids um, you know, and be able to get tickets for it. So, it's a great alternative to San Diego Comic-Con. There's lots of room. It's beautiful. You guys can get out and check it out. Again, it's a great alternative. It's a little bit cheaper than doing San Diego Comic-Con as far as on the ticket scale. It's pretty cool. Great alternative for you guys. Um, and plus, if you guys are doing costumes, there's that whole front portion of the convention center where it's great for shooting. So, if you can imagine a BlizzCon in November, if all those people can fit in and all that massive warbler and armor and Eva foam and stuff, it's going to be able to hold some of the smaller costumes that you'll see at WonderCon. So, fret not, you will have room. Now, I can't guarantee room when you walk into the convention center based on people, but if you guys are wanting to get out and showcase your work on a grander scale and take photos outside the convention center, you're pretty well good to go with doing WonderCon at Anaheim Convention Center. All right. Now, for if you guys are flying in, you guys have three airports. Yes, three. Tres. Airports to pick from to fly in. You guys can go with LAX if you're in for them. One non-stop shot, in and out, bigger airport. You guys can hit up LAX. Some other alternatives you might want to try is Long Beach Airport, which is not that far located from Anaheim, and John Wayne, which is located in Orange County, around the Costa Mesa, Santa Ana area. So you guys have a couple different airports. So again, LAX, and you guys have Long Beach and John Wayne. So check them out. The maybe price points will be a little easier for you guys to fly in. Again, all basically minus LAX, a rush hour. Not that bad of a distance if you're taking a cab or an Uber or having family members pick you up. They're kind of within the same little general graphic area. Um, again, some things to do while you're in Southern California. You're right by freaking Disneyland. It's amazing. If you guys can't get into Disneyland, a great thing to check out is Downtown Disney. 
Downtown Disney, you don't need a pass. You don't need to do any of that. You can just walk downtown. You get the World of Disney. You guys can check out the great big shop. You get, There's so many different restaurants down there. There's Naples, if you guys like authentic Italian. You know, there's like your basics like Jamba Juice, Build a Bear. I mean, you guys got cool stuff you guys can check out. There's even a Hard Rock Cafe all down in downtown Disney. You guys can have fun with it. It's super cool. Um... I mean, you guys here, if you go a flight through LA, you got Universal Studios. So, hello, Harry Potter. You guys can do so much when you're in Southern California. When you're right in that little area, there's so much you guys can do. I mean, you're in SoCal. You know, you can go to the beach, and it's not that hard from, far from the beach. Hug a palm tree. I don't care. Whatever you guys want to do, there's so much fun to do in Southern California. It just depends. If you guys have some time and you're here for a few days, outside the convention and you want to check it out i recommend if you're getting a rental cruise up and down the 101 on the coast you guys that is the road that goes all the way down from the very bottom of san diego and technically should go all the way up to san fran you don't have to go that far but i'm just saying if you want a great scenic drive check out some of the old places like the historic like the woodies little cafe you guys can go to all types of cool stuff check it out the piers the beach the weather it's freaking amazing. It's, it's, it's around Easter here in Southern California. Many people are still dealing with snow. Okay. And you can be wearing a tank top, shorts, and flip flops. It's freaking amazing. So, if you guys can, check it out. If you have any other tips, tricks, comments, cool things you want to tell to other people who might be going to WonderCon, please list them below in the comment section and stay tuned. I have tons of Comic Cons and little cool rabbit reports to give you guys for other conventions later on this year, starting with Emerald City Comic Con after this. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching. See you soon.